recording here. <laughs> Bruno, can you talk about those last two, the two possessions toward the end of the game where you got the rebound off Daryl's miss and then fed it to uh, Aaron for the dunk and then had the, the left-handed uh, uh, you know, drive. Is that where your game has grown the most in, in doing those kind of things? I can't even remember those plays. I remember <laughs> the pass to Aaron by the left-handed drive. Um, I mean, yeah, it's a lot of things. Like I said all the time, I, I worked on, you know, expanding on my game and just, you know, try to be more of a team player, facilitating the game for my teams and just, you know, making the right play at the right time all the time. And, uh, you know, my teammates, they do a great job cutting whenever I get the ball. And that showed, you know, how Aaron just saw how I got the rebound and he got straight to the rim and I was able to make the pass out to him. So, you know, it's just something we got to keep doing as a team. It's, it's working for us pretty well right now, so we got to keep doing it. All 14 of your points came in the second half. What was the approach coming out of intermission? What was the key to getting going there? It, I think it was just, personally, I was just uh, a lot more aggressive in the second half. I think in the first half, you know, uh, I couldn't get going earlier. Um, but I was just, you know, having a team mentality. Try to, like I say, make plays for my teammates whenever they double team. And, and things like that. So I was, you know, I was. I think I was a little confused uh, there in the first half, just trying to figure out how they guarded me. Uh, in the second half, I got a hand of that, so uh, that was a lot easier for me. How well do you think Sorrell has just managed to stay ready for those moments like today when he's needed for a little bit more than what you've been asking for? I think Sorrell is always ready. Uh, he shows that at practice. He's always, you know, doing these things at practice. So we all know he's ready for whenever his name is called, and, and he's going to be able to come in and produce for us. Terp Talk is brought to you by Viner Four Gates Consulting. Call Viner Four Gates for all of your IT needs. In the DC Baltimore area, you could reach us at 301 251 2900 or on the web at www.vinerforgates.com. Bruno, this is the uh, second time this year you've been able to hold Caleb Wesson under his, you know, season averages. What, what's the key to kind of neutralizing him? And, uh, you know, what, what's it like being out there kind of battling with another, you know, top big uh, It's 10, a big battle. Man? I can tell you that. It's a battle. Uh, you know, he got, like, what, probably 60 pounds on me. So I just <laughs> try to um, just to get him tired as much as I can. I just try to play with my feet, moving my feet as much as I can. He's a great player. Whenever he catches deep in the post, he's going to score. So I just try to get him tired, make him move around more and more and more. And I just front him all the, all the time. And I'll, I know the weak side help him be there all the time. So I just try to, you know, get him tired and move my feet and just going around him all the time. You play a lot of guys that are big guys, but he looks like, as you said, he outweighs you. Does it feel out there that he outweighs you? Can you feel it in your body when he bumps into you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 I do feel that he's, he's, a, he's a heavy guy. In terms of turnovers, I know you guys talk about it a lot. You work on it a lot, um, but the numbers, you know, still st seem to creep up to that number that coach doesn't like, and sort of keeps you from being maybe another level team. Mm -hmm. What what can be done at this stage of the season, or do you just have to sort of go through it and? I think it's just on us, you know, we just got to, you know, personally take it, you know, and just try to take care of the ball. Um, you know, we have some silly ones that, you know, are not allowed to, like, they just unacceptable or not. We keep making those mistakes, but it's understandable, you know, we're still growing as a team. Uh, we're still trying to, you know, uh, figure out things, uh, especially on the court with each other. So, you know, we, 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 we keep growing, we're getting better. Um, like it was a time where we, we weren't really turning the ball over as much, so we we uh, we got to get back to that, and that's really all. Was your travel coming off the rebound, where you just sort of took a couple of steps? Was that a silly one? It was. Okay, <laughs> I'm just checking. What did you think of the crowd tonight in the whiteout? That all was the energy? great. That was great. Uh, you know, just students came out, um, the fans and everything came out just to support us and stuff like that, and uh, I'm just glad we was able to get the win for them. What do you feel like changed when? They were able to cut your lead from 16 to 2. And what is it like to be out there kind of watching that? I think we weren't. We just weren't locked in on defense for that stretch. I think right after they got it to 2 or 3, then we got locked in again and we started getting stops. That was the key. How much talking do you do with your defensive guard teammate when they run that high pick and roll on you? And you shift with the guard and then run back 
to cover the center? Do you talk to your um, I, I do talk to them. I, know, I let them know whenever the screen is coming, and they know this automatic. I will stay. I got to stay longer on the screen, and then run back to my guys. So I always got to make sure I stay in front of the ball until my guard comes and takes the ball back, so I can run back to my guy. A couple more. You, uh, I think after Sticks got tied up, uh, he had, I think, got an offensive rebound. I think they called a the jump ball out of it. You said something to him as, as you guys were coming back. Do you remember what you said? Or just, just in terms of sort of coaching him on the floor to sort of get him through a tough I game? think the things I tell him the most on the court is just keep being aggressive. And, and I think it was one time where he had a smaller guy on him. He tried to ma make a move, and he didn't like actually take him as low as he, he possibly can. So I was just teaching him just to try to you know take him as as deep as he can and just score an easy layup. Bernie, you have 18 double doubles on the season now. Did you coming into 18. the year 18? Wow. Did, did coming into the year did you set a goal for yourself at how many double doubles you'd like to have? Or I didn't personally set a goal on how many double doubles I wanted to have, but I set a goal on just trying to get every rebound as I can because Coach Thurs used to play with me last year all the time. He would pick up game, he would ask me, did you even get one rebound? So I'm trying to get all of them. Yeah. Thanks, Bruno. Thanks, Thanks Bruno.